I can make your hands clap. I can make some super rods go round. 20 laps on the board here, the 3CS Cup for 2023 is a go. Stan Marco to the inside, but it's Pitcher to the outside. That's Jacob Pitcher, the Victoria number one, gets a clean start. It looked good on that outside groove. Oh, he just had to slow up there in three and four, didn't he? Get off the throttle. Stan Marco will have to do. That's Stan Marco Jr., shall I say, in P2. He gets a little bit of a push. Looking for Verhoeven to come through in P3 at this point. There's a close battle between second and third. There's one to two car lefts between them, but Stan Marco is almost going to invite him in. You don't have to ask Paul too many times, and he does just that. Knocks on the door, picks up one spot. Verhoeven to P2. Stan Marco to P3. A little bit of a battle there for P4. Jamie May trying to come through. Mamet. Corey Glitis has got some good car speed, but just can't get past at this point as Mamet is all over the track, trying to find us some control. Behind him is Pitcher, Acklin, Wilston Croft. Dutchie's there as well as the main Ramsey. He's still got 16 to run. And it's Pitcher out in the lead on the back straight, about to go into turn three and four. The Victorian number one of Jacob Pitcher doing well. And red lights will come onto the circuit for Domaine Ramsey. Right here in the front straight. I wasn't able to catch exactly what was going on, but there is a big lot of damage and debris sitting on the front straight here. And it looks like to me that he's gone up and over. Yeah, man, he just caught the wall with the left rear. FM Pace Vehicle will make its way to the infield. 16 laps of the board. The 3CS Cup for 2023 is set to resume with Jacob Pitcher at the helm of this one. He gets off nice and early and leaves him for dust. Oh, when I say dust, he got a little bit tight there. Had to have a little bit more throttle control. You're going to see that right rear was almost off and looks a little bit tight up there. He wants to get this one run and one. Behooven in P2. And that five car, Stan Marco is coming after him. That's Stan Marco Jr. and he'll go on 77. Just as I say, Corey DeGlitis goes up and over. Just what we're starting to see at the moment is this racetrack is quick. It's fast, and as soon as you got outside the groove, there's some consequences to come. Yeah, and he just got tight, got on the left rear, and it stood up, and he tried to catch it, and then it just bounced and up and over. And you almost saw your race leader, the Victorian champion, get himself upside down in a similar situation at that start. 